Well, it's 70 degrees today and we are at one of the bridges of death on the Sugar River. Now, tomorrow it's gonna to be 30 and it's gonna remain 30 for a long time. So for now, we're gonna fish this river behind me. It is actually very deep here on the Sugar, probably seven, eight feet, well deep uh, according to the Sugar River. And we're gonna see what actually is here. Probably suckers and we're definitely going for a fish of death. All right, can I just toss this in the middle of the river? I think it's actually deeper towards this side than the middle of the river. I'm pretty sure it actually is. But here, the sugar is deep all along um, this park. So we'll see what we get. Hopefully the sucker doesn't take it into those branches right there, but you know, they're suckers, so they're not that big usually. Kind of windy today, but I'm really low, like kind of near a slow, slow uh, bridge area, so it should be fine. I'm gonna start off with the Clio. It's not really a Clio, it's like a cheap imitation Clio. It's not gold, but I've caught a pike with it yesterday, so there's no reason I can't catch a pike with it right now. And the pike here, though, are actually bigger than the ones generally I catch at the crawfish. All of, most of them here are in the 30, and a couple of in the 40 inch range. It is very, very deep here, right offshore. So hopefully there'll be something here. It's on and off here, definitely. Sometimes you catch a lot when you come here. Other times, you don't catch a thing when you come here. Really all just depends. I think I got something. I almost started clicking. It, it isn't very big, but I, oh, it's definitely a fish. What is, is that a big, huge chub? No, it's a, oh my God, it's a trout. Brown trout, brown trout. Spotted brown trout, very nice. Brown trout, first trout I've caught in Dayton. Nice fish, nice fish. That was strange. Uh, I've never caught a trout in this area before. It's usually all suckers and pike, but I have heard of people catching them before. It's just not very common in this area of the sugar. Trout are way more common uh, around Pioli and the Sugar River, um, about half, until about halfway between Pioli and Belleville is actually considered a trout stream. So you cannot actually fish uh, with bottom bait there from October until I think May. But this area you can because it's not a trout stream and trout is very, very rare here. Usually it's just pike and um, suckers here and some carp in the summer for sure. But at this time of the year, it's usually pike and suckers. Suckers don't really seem to be biting today. So maybe just pike right now. And the pike aren't biting, so maybe just trout, who knows? All right, nothing's biting in the deep section, so we're gonna keep, try to fishing here in the little rapids. It is a little bit deeper underneath the rapids, but it is much well better oxygenated, and there is structure over there. So I'm gonna toss over there by the rapids and see if anything picks up the worm. That rod seems to be bending. And oh my gosh, it's way over there. That's gotta be a fish. It actually crossed my other rod, which actually also might have a fish. That's definitely a fish. That's not just the, is that a sucker? It's probably just a sucker, right? Feels like one, way too heavy to be a trout. Is that a big, oh no, it was a carp. Never mind, it was a carp. You got one on this pole as well. Man, they're hooking fast and furious. It's a white sucker. Oh dang, this one actually stayed on. That's nice. Going a little insane. Definitely going a little insane. White sucker, another species. Not too bad, not too bad, a white sucker. Nice little white sucker. Surprised there aren't fish of death here with so many suckers here. See a sucker. So they all kind of seem to be like, essentially right across where that stream is because the water is slightly deeper on that side of the stream. So that's where we're gonna launch. The water is, there's like a drop off there around there where it's like mud and then it drops off deeper. And just on that drop off is where they all, all pretty much are. Pretty good sucker fishing, I'd have to say. I think I got it there, so we're just gonna set it down and that's our last bit of bait. While I was tying on a new battery for my GoPro, I think I got something here. Pretty sure it's still pulling. And it's bending my rod a little bit, but it's not very big. It's probably another sucker. Maybe a trout, but I'm guessing another sucker. That's not big at all. It's def oh, there it is. There it is. There's a little sucker. I'm gonna take it a little bit, reel, reel it in because this is the lighter rod. 
And I am out of bay, which means back to uh, death fishing with this one. Another white sucker. You know, all the suckers are here. So I'm surprised that the big fish of death are not actually here. That's a white sucker. That's prime big fish of death food. There you go, white sucker. All right, sucker. Put you back in the water so you can just take off. That's the last of my worm bait, but I'm still gonna launch one over there with whatever was left on here and see if I can get anything. This one's a bigger hook, so I'm not sure if this will work, but if I launch it in the same place, it should be okay. I think I got one. Yeah, I definitely got one. Finally got a big fish of death, but it might be stuck on a tree. Nope, it's there. It's a death fish, but I'm stuck high up. This might be a big one too. I don't know. Just took it. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Northern pikefish. It's probably bigger than, is that even a pike? Yeah, it is. Northern pikefish. Figured there'd be one here. A bit at dark. Northern pikefish. All right, I gotta get it in. It's not a big one. It's not a big one. But it is a pikefish, and I'm way up here. There we go. Northern pikefish. On my spoon. Spoons are easily the best fish, best pike uh, thing out there. Northern pikefish. All right, I gotta get it in the net. It's a decent size one. It looks like it's snagged actually, but I think it probably went for my lure. I'm pretty sure it just went for my lure and then um, just got kind of got caught. Missed my lure and then got caught. There it is, northern pikefish. All right, I'm definitely, ooh, it's starting to rain hard now. That's not good. I need to get this pike and then get the hell out of here. Get the pike and get out. Northern pike, it's probably like a 25 incher. Right there, about a 25 incher. All right, uh, need to get this guy in. Not a big one, but a northern pike fish. All right, bam, northern, northern pike fish. Northern pike, probably mid 20s in terms of size, but northern pike fish. Not the biggest one I've caught here, but a northern pike. Kind of small, can't put it like a, can't hold it by the gills, still kind of small, but northern pikefish. All right, northern pike, we're just gonna let this uh, big fish of death go down here. And uh, yeah, it's gonna conclude, well, I might toss around on the other side, but northern pikefish, there it goes, there it goes. Well, that was a fun trip at Dayton. That was also the last warm day. It's gonna be like 30 tomorrow or something. So I might not be coming out for a while, for about a week, but that was a one fish of death. It wasn't an extremely big one, probably one of the smaller ones I've caught there. And a lot of suckers, like I um, said, plus one carp on a hook that I didn't really get. But that brown trout was a surprise. I've actually never caught a trout there. Now, I've heard of other people catching bigger trout there, but I've never caught one at Dayton myself. I think the farthest downstream I've caught in a trout in the sugar is at the dam at Belleville. And there are several of them there in the spring. But yeah, nice little catch. Got the fish of death, got a couple of suckers, got a carp on a hook. And if you just fish near that rapids area, you'll get plenty of fish. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe. Hopefully I can get some more content in the cold weather. But content is going to be scarce when the water gets colder and if it's not frozen enough for ice fishing. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button and I'll see you guys later.